to our session today um, for local food and farm co-ops. We're talking about um, a whole bunch of things, including uh, our new online Pollinators of Change platform, um, membership at LFFC, uh, upcoming courses that we have launching this fall we're really excited about, and also some services that we have available to you. So let's get started. Um, a lot of this presentation also came from the membership and service packages info session that we did in the summer. Um, although some of these things are a little bit new as well too. So just letting you know um, that we are gonna be talking about that today. So a little bit about me. Hi, I'm Susanna Redekop. I'm the communications coordinator here at Local Food and Farm Co-ops. Um, I'm also a mom of three kids. Um, and I always try to put that first because I'm not only just about my work, um, and I have experience of about 12 years of working in cooperatives of different sorts, um, from living in a housing co-op to working at local food and farm co-ops here and establishing this network um, to uh, being part of launching the West End Food Co-op here in my neighborhood of Parkdale in Toronto um, and co-founding co-ops, including a daycare co-op for our then two-year-old who now is turning 13. Um, I'm also a master's student at York University, and the research I've been doing really um, speaks to the intersections of BIPOC food sovereignty, um, so it's food sovereignty for Black, Indigenous, and people of color, um, and the intersections of that with cooperatives and climate justice. Um, I'm also a co-founder of Freedom Dreams Cooperative Education. Um, so at Freedom Dreams Co-op Education, we do a number of different things, um, including bringing workshops and other educational resources to the workplace, um, whether it be for co-ops or cooperative principles um, that can be applied to any workplace. And we are a knowledge hub for bringing together lots of different kinds of intersectionality and having that different lens on uh, the cooperative movement in Canada and beyond. So a little bit about local food and farm co-ops. Um, so for those of you who don't know us already, um, LFFC, we support the development of food co-ops, farm co-ops and systems food systems all throughout the province. We have regional coordinators in the Northwest, the Northeast, myself in the South, um, our project manager, our admin coordinator, and our Indigenous relations coordinator supports our relationship building with our partners and Indigenous-led food initiatives. LFFC is a member-driven network and our team and board work to fulfill our mission of fostering vibrant, resilient, connected and sustainable food and farm cooperatives and food systems across Ontario. We provide tools, training, resources, and support for food and farm co-ops in this sector. Um, we also have members who are not co-ops um, and quite a lot of the time we have a lot of interested folks coming to us who would like more cooperative ways of working together and relationship building and bringing that to the work that they do within the food sector and the farming sector. We do have a number of different projects um, that build our cooperative knowledge and network and connect various different Northern and Southern Ontario communities and coalition building and collaborative initiatives to improve food distribution across the province. We have a network of members um, within co-ops, co food systems, from farmers to food distribution to retail grocery co-ops and community building and community building upon land trust models and more. So anywhere in the food value chain from farmers to consumers, from seed to supper, benefit from our food systems network in sharing resources, training, mentorships, and so much more. So as of 2022, um, we have uh, now three main different uh, membership classes at local food and farm co-ops. The first being um, with mostly the food and farm co-ops, social enterprises. Um, we also have community stakeholders. So even if you're an individual um, or unincorporated enterprise, involved in um, and interested in different kinds of cooperative tools for improving local food systems. Um, that's definitely uh, an available option to you too. Um, and also a note that for consultants, um, you know, we have quite a range of different things that we bring to the table uh, and that you would have at your disposal in terms of the tools that we have in our toolbox and also on our Pollinators of Change Network platform, which I'll give you a tour of soon. 
Um, for our sector stakeholder members, um, this is a different class of membership, including institutions, um, larger second tier co-ops, also credit unions um, who are interested in bringing their expertise um, and bringing their different workshops and their resources um, into uh, our network um, for improving local food systems, for improving that cooperative network. Um, so there's lots of opportunities for um, these different sector stakeholders to be able to partner with us, um, co-brand some of the different kinds of educational materials that we have coming out um, and deliver some of their content to our members and course participants as well. So if you're interested in any of those types of membership, please get in touch with us. Um, so in terms of some of the service packages we have available, um, we launched these in spring 2022. Um, we have uh, our grow package, which is $10 a month or $100 a year. Um, and this is our most self-guided uh, package. So, you know, if you are a startup organization, if you are a cooperative, if you are looking for resources to better support your workplace, um, in the food and farming system um, in the in sector, uh, but you don't really have a lot of time to dedicate towards, um, you know, regularly coming and attending things. You want to be able to do it on your own time and schedule. This is the platform and this is the uh, package for you. So with this one, you're able to go at your own pace. You can access um, our co-ops on your desktop online curriculum, which takes you through a number of different modules and how to launch your startup, how to launch your cooperative. Um, and uh, we also have uh, our Bloom package, which is the same you get with the Grow package with access to our Pollinators of Change network. You still get access to our co-ops on your desktop online curriculum, but you also um, have a couple of meetings directly with either your regional coordinator or another expert in the field who is familiar with your specific project to work towards a certain goal. Um, so the end product of this one uh, typically would be working towards um, a pitch for a fundraising uh, initiative, um, grant applications, feasibility study, uh, business plan, for example. Um, those sorts of things can be the end result of um, signing on for our Bloom package. And so the cost for this one is $19 per month or $200 per year. And again, when you sign on for um, the, the yearly payment, you actually do save um, almost 20% um, when you uh, do it that way. So we're really excited about our online courses that are about to launch um, this fall. We're going to be um, opening our uh, registration soon and um, they're gonna be starting in November, 2022. Um, what I have here is um, a bit more of a description of the LFFC startup support pathways. So we see you know, our typical way in which we help to support the launch um, of a startup organization start with a regional scan to be able to see, you know, what is already happening in your region. Um, you have a needs assessment, you build that capacity, you build different kinds of partnerships, um, resource prospecting, having a sense of what's out there, what do you need in terms of capital funding, what do you need in terms of um, other sorts of uh, in-kind resources, um, or is it, you know, finding a building, those sorts of pieces that we need to, you know, consider that research that goes into that, planning events to be able to have people know about you, um, and really working towards launching your you know, business plan, uh, your marketing plan, and going towards your operational uh, launch. In terms of the courses that um, we have coming up, um, I'll explain a little bit more about them in a moment. Um, we do have um, our team uh, that is going to be leading these courses. Um, so all of our teammates here um, from our, our regional coordinators um, to our admin coordinator and also um, our communications, um, we're going to be bringing each of our own expertise to the courses that we are launching. Speaking of those courses. So um, the first one we are doing is our startup course. Um, and um, with startup, we often get um, folks who are starting their cooperative, their food business, their farm, um, and they often have their own full-time job to pay the bills, but this is their passion project and they have a hard time finding time to carve out to be able to do that. Um, so, you know, taking the energy that we've gotten from um, our assembly that we've been doing every year, 
we realized that being able to really have um, a much more um, steady, um, consistent um, method of being able to engage is much more sustainable. And especially when you build it in, um, you have your regular course time. Um, this is a way to be able to make sure that you do go through those steps, those, those stages of launching, um, but we're structuring it in terms of a course in this way. Um, so all of our courses are online. They're on our Pollinators of Change Network. And um, with the startup course, we'll be going through different pieces of, you know, your roadmap, your visioning, your governance, engaging in your community, um, your business planning, looking at the market, um, a feasibility study, uh, resource prospecting, fundraising, and building your capital campaign to be able to launch. For our other course, our second one, this one we're calling Leveraging Your People Power, and it's funded in part by the cooperators. Um, so for this course, what we're really doing is finding ways to be able to um, recognize that our workers are our strongest asset, and often this gets overlooked. Um, whether you're an established cooperative, an established um, food farm business, um, quite a lot of the time, folks don't put the time into recognizing uh, and working with their employees to be able to um, create a more equitable workplace, to create um, more value. And so um, the different units that we have um, for this course uh, include the diversity, equity, inclusion, and workforce planning and, and recruitment, um, going through member engagement and communications, uh, and even if you're not a cooperative, bringing these elements of um, working cooperatively together will strengthen any workplace. Um, another piece of this is transitioning to self-managed teams, uh, bringing more worker empowerment, elements of sociocracy and decision-making um, that are more decentralized to the workplace. Um, and good government governance, um, leading cooperatives um, and cooperatively with integrity and compassion. Um, so again, all of these courses and these offerings are on our Pollinators of Change Network. Um, so we're really excited to have launched this um, for our assembly in uh, 2022. And um, the Pollinators of Change Network, it really allows for different pieces to come together. Um, we're seeing the need for more online education, uh, the desire to be able to bring together people um, in an online format, uh, but in a way that's engaging and different uh, and feels more human centric. Um, so it's not your average course. Uh, in this sort of way with our Pollinators of Change Network, uh, we're bringing together um, peer networking, we're bringing together the ability to be able to cohort together um, access to experts um, within the different sectors that we're talking about that come together as well as having all of your online course content in one place um, and the ability to share, you know, share more of your events and promotions. Um, and we also have the ability to be able to um, offer exclusive partner pro programs with our sector members as well. I should also mention that the courses we have available, um, there are some subsidized spaces available for people that are in need. Um, so if you're an organization, um, if you are uh, a person who's interested in taking our courses, um, but the finances are a barrier for you, get in touch with us um, because we already have um, some sponsors who and our sector members who are able to subsidize um, the costs for uh, those courses. So I'm going to bring us to our Pollinators of Change Network. Um, so when we come to our Pollinators of Change Network and hear a little bit about us and, and understand, you know, some more about the platform and why you should be joining, um, we do also have an app and this is powered by Mighty Networks. Um, and, uh, and so you know, if there's any tech issues that you have um, that are beyond what we can provide assistance for, Mighty Networks has um, a really great team um, that also can support with that too. Um, so, for example, if we're going to be going and uh, and looking at our courses, we have um, here's the our leveraging your people power course. Um, the price is four hundred ninety nine dollars per person, um, and uh, we're trying to encourage groups to be able to register as well. So, um, for the first two people, this is the price for each person. When you add your third person, you start saving ten percent. Um, and, uh, and so we're trying to, yes, encourage that to be able to happen. And again, if you are coming across, um, uh, financial barriers to be able to participate in our programs, in our course, 
um, please get in touch with us because we do have some subsidies available. Um, so we have this one. We also have, um, as I mentioned, our startup course, um, also the same price. Um, I should also mention that for our LFFC members, um, you already save 10% on these courses when you're buying them per person. And when you add your third person to add to your group, and you begin saving 15% instead. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour of our Pollinators of Change Network. So I'm just gonna go and sign in. So when you sign up for the first time, you have the ability to be able to create your profile, um, you know, with your interests, um, you can write a little bit about yourself um, and, uh, and have a sense of, you know, um, other things that you're a part of um, once you join in different circles or courses, for example, um, or follow specific topics, even your RSVPs um, for the different events we have coming up can also be there too. Um, so when you first land on the Pollinators of Change Network, you'll see a bit of a, a Facebook style feed where you have different things that are happening, um, such as questions and we pose um, to be able to engage, um, beautifully to post your own, um, different facts about things, um, events that are coming up, for example. Um, you do have the events tab that's on this side. And so any event that you do have um, that's coming up um, or you're interested in, you can RSVP right on this page. And once it's happening, a little button um, that says live now, um, you can click on that. It'll pop up when it's happening live. And that way you can join right within the platform. Um, should you have any questions or comments or anything about the specific events, you have the ability to always share um, down below here too. And I love this platform for that engagement piece. You can share, um, you can tag others every step of the way um, throughout so much of this. Topics are a way of organizing our content. Um, so when things get posted in the main um, uh, sort of pollinators of change feed, for example, you can tag with a specific topic. Um, if you are really interested in anything that's specifically here, you can follow that topic. And that way, anything um, that's posted within that tag will pop up. So for example, if I'm really interested in justice, equity, diversity, inclusion, um, I can follow this topic and that way every time something's posted, whether it be an event um, or uh, specific um, you know, pieces of uh, information, articles that pop up, that will always be something that I get alerted to. Um, you can look up roles here. So um, if you have a specific badge, um, for example, as an expert in co-ops, um, this is a great uh, place to be able to connect with anyone um, who is identifying themselves as an expert. Uh, you can directly chat with each of them um, and, uh, and have your own um, yeah, chat going. Um, we also have our circles. A circle is uh, a smaller version of our Pollinators of Change Network. So for example, um, for our courses, uh, we're going to have a circle that is specific to each of those courses so that those that cohort can connect to each other about the course content, things that they want to share, uh, questions they may have for each other, and other points of engagement. Um, for example, you know, if we have the, I'm going to show you here for the Northern Food Distribution Network, um, being able to post different um, articles and pieces that happen to do here with that topic, um, with that uh, specific circle you want to reach. And within chat, you can reach everybody that is part of this circle at this time through there. Um, the part I'm most excited about, I must say, um, are our upcoming courses. So to pair with each of those circles, I just showed you for our startup course and for our leveraging your people power course, uh, we also have um, a, a join, a, we also have uh, an adjacent course. Um, so one of them I will show you, for example, um, is our co-ops on your desktop. So this is our start to finish, um, launch your co-op, your social enterprise, um, your food farm business type course. Um, and so this one, um, is available with the grow package or with the, um, bloom package as well too. So you'll see with co-ops on your desktop, um, we have this organized in terms of modules. So module one with startup resources, 
specialty resources, um, funding and pre-feasibility, um, business financial planning, capital systems and finding funding all the way to operations, um, your first hiring and opening your doors. And each of these pieces, for example, I'll just show you one, each of these, um, when you go through it, there's a number of different exercises you can go through. Um, there's uh, webinars um, and there's uh, other pieces from uh, speakers of ours we've had as guests speaking on behalf of these topics, uh, members of ours, um, and they all play right within the platform here. We have a number of different things you can download. Um, there's different templates that are editable for your needs. There's different templates that are editable for your needs. There's um, different kinds of policies, sample documents, um, things from other co-ops as well too, resource guides. There's a huge amount um, of, uh, of content here that you can go through at your own pace. Um, and so very similarly following for our courses, um, this will be a very similar outline. Uh, and then each week you'll go through um, these different pieces in your module. You'll also have the ability to be able to connect with others. Uh, if you have questions about that module, if you want to tag somebody else, one of your other um, course mates in here, uh, or your, one of your peers, um, you know, work, some, work on something together, you'll have the ability to be able to do that right within the platform. And again, um, for everyone taking this course all together, you have a chat where you can reach everybody who's a part of it. Um, I think that's probably everything that I needed to go through for now. Um, and I think that concludes our time together. Uh, if there's any other questions that anyone has about uh, local food and farm co-ops, the courses that we have available to us that are um, coming up and um, launching in November of 2022, um, our service packages, our pollinators have changed, feel free to reach out. We're always available and would love to be able to have a session like this specifically to answer your questions or for your staff, your team, your board. Um, we're always available to be able to um, connect and we love being able to hear from you. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care. Bye everyone.